Okay, now we have sent a successfully get to our server. Now it's time to create a post to our server. So we are going to create some data on the server side. For this, what we have to do is to perform a post operation. Okay, now we will have a new URL. So if I say uh, my domain slash to do, what I want is that my server understands that I want to create a new to do item. Okay, now let's see how we are going to achieve that. So in my server.js file, I will create app.post. Quite simple, right? And inside it, I will say if something comes to, if a post operation comes to slash to do, what I want you to do is have a request and a response again. And inside of it, for example, now let's make take it easy. We'll just log a message to our console log and we say success fully triggered a post. Okay. Now, of course, we have to modify our index HTML to actually create the post operation, right? So I have something ready for you. So I have created a form with action to do. So it will move, it will go to the to do slash to do URL and it will perform not a get operation, but a post operation. Inside of it, we, we, have, we will have two inputs. One is the name of the to-do and one is the priority. And then we have a button, submit. Once you click submit, it will perform this action. Okay, now let's save this. Let's save this. Let's go back, restart our server. Now what I want to see is, here we have the listening to port 3000. And let's press hit enter. I will get the updated index HTML file with our, uh, with our mini form and our submit button. And if I say record a new, okay, I don't have to type anything, priority one. Now when I press the submit button, the post should be coming to our server and we should successfully see the console uh, log message, right? Now let's try this, submit. This will go on forever because we are not sending anything back and the server doesn't know if it's um, sent the post successfully or not. We will handle this in a f uh, we will handle this later on. Now let's go back and here we see that successfully triggered a post. So right now uh, we have triggered on our server the post method okay so right now we are ready to continue with creating a new to-do item where of course in our database now we are able to send data to our server using the post but now let me show you something when I go back to my application and I right click and choose inspect and here I hover to the network tab and right now it's empty. So let me make a request. When I press submit, the web browser will send the post to our server, right? So we should see it in the network. Let's press submit. And here we have it. So right now the browser has created a post. This is the URL. And the important thing here is, we also have our data, name and priority. Okay, so 
the browser is sending the data inside our form to a server. But there is a problem. It turns out, let me stop that and go back. Okay. It turns out that Express doesn't handle reading data from the form element on its own. We have to add another package called body-parser to gain this functionality. Okay, so I will, whoops, okay. So let's open another terminal and I will say npm install body-parser and we will, of course, save it. Express allows us to add middleware like body parser to our application with the use method. You will, hurl, uh, you will hear the term middleware a lot when dealing with Express. These things are basically plugins that change the request or response object before they get handled by our application. So what we are going to do right now is we will say const body parser equals require and body dash parser. So this is the library. And then um, let's, so after express, we will say app.use um, body parser dot URL encoded. I will explain in a second. And we will say extended is true. So the URL encoded method within body parser tells body parser to extract data from the form element and add them to the body property in the request object. So this is our request object. It will add it inside the body property, okay? Now what we should do is console log, now let's delete this part and say request or request dot body now are you ready and let's say node server dot js whoops now this error um, tells us that our port is already in use this is because I mixed up the terminals. So let's stop this, restart the server, go back to our application, hit enter, and let's press submit. Before I press it, what's gonna happen? We should be able to see our data, armor and one, right here okay now let's press submit and voila i have no object insights i have name armon and priority one so far so good now we have finished the very simple get and post methods now i will show you something called node mon and after that, I think we are ready to get and insert some data to MongoDB. So let's continue.